Well, it took until the early hours of Sunday morning before VMI secured its first Southern Conference win of 2019. The Kedats making enough plays down the stretch and enduring two one-hour-plus delays, getting the win over ETSU, the conference co-champion from a year ago, winning at 31-24. Today, the Kedats back at work with the memories of last weekend in Johnson City still fresh on everyone's mind. Just the way we competed, uh, you know, we have uh, three core values, grit, uh, brotherhood, and purpose. And, you know, our kids play with grit, overcoming uh, two lightning delays, uh, arguably one of the top defenses in the Southern Conference, beating a SoCon co-champion on the road, uh, coming back from behind, you know, just the emotional flow of the game, winning in overtime. Uh, just showed a lot of grit, playing for each other, brotherhood, and, uh, you know, it was just a fun game to be around. And then that locker room celebration, just seeing some guys that, you know, got uh, – the fruits of their labor. It was just a pleasure to watch them. Redshirt junior running back Alex Ramsey had another exceptional outing in the win at ETSU, hauling in a career-high 11 passes for 56 yards, scoring two touchdowns, and his 29-yard rush late in the game set up VMI's game-tying field goal by Grant Clemens to force overtime. Well, Alex, early on in training camp, uh, had the attitude, hey, I'm going to put this team on my back and carry them to success, and, and that's why he earned one of our 14 captain spots. And he did that again uh, the other night, you know, just uh, short yardage runs, touchdown runs, and, you know, yards after contact. He had 11 catches in the game. So, you know, in this offense, the air raid style, backs catch the ball a lot. And, you know, also Alex did a good job in picking up uh, blitzes and pass protection. So just a warrior, plays hard and tough, and uh, is having a great year. VMI has continued its dramatic turnaround in turnover margin and through three games leads the SOCON with a plus seven mark, the only conference team with a positive number in that category. Against ETSU, the offense did not turn over the ball throughout regulation and overtime, while the defense generated takeaways with a first half interception and fumble recovery in the third quarter. VMI is currently tied for fourth in FCS in turnover margin. Well, last year we had six uh, turnovers against the ETSU, and this year we had zero. So just a great job by Coach Shepard and the offensive staff training our guys. Uh, Coach Anthony Davis uh, having those backs carry the ball high and tight. You know, Coach Shepard with the quarterbacks uh, keeping the ball out of harm's way. And, and it also comes down to blocking. You know, early in the game we gave up three sacks and some quarterback hits, but as the game wore on, our old lineman really improved and kept the quarterback clean from midway through the second quarter on. So, you know, very impressed with the job Coach Jolly's doing and those big guys up front. BMI takes on Robert Morris this Saturday as the Keydats open up a two-game homestand at Foster Stadium. The Colonials of the NEC Conference are looking for their first win after dropping a close 34-31 decision to Dayton at home last Saturday. They're very sound fundamentally. They play extremely hard. Uh, they've lost a couple tight games to some good football teams early, and it'll be a great challenge. Saturday's game will be Salute to Service Day, presented by USAA. Several ticket promotions in the works. You can check them out at vmitickets.com. Kickoff at 1.30 between the Colonials and Keydets in Lexington.